Hi everybody, I hope we're all okay today. Today I am looking into some of the eyeshadow colours that are here. A lot of my friends try to avoid because they're a bit worried. Um, I'm going to do like oranges and yellows today. Um, just so that you can see how you can do it in a way that you don't have to be scared of it. You don't have to have big blocks of orange up to your eyebrows and things like that. Um, I've already done my skincare, got my SPF on, I've primed, primed my eyes, I've put my eyebrows on just because I've already done a tutorial on that, uh, you don't need to see it every time. Um, I will be going off at some point doing the rest of my face including my eyeliner, I am going to do another video on winged eyeliner as well and um, possibly lips today too, I don't know when they'll be posted how close together but that's the plan for today so if you see me wearing the same outfit on several videos that's why. <laughs> so for my eyeshadows today I'm going to be using the Morphe palette and this is the Sunset Beats the £18 and that's it inside it's really pretty. I'm going to start off with a medium sized fluffy brush and to start I'm going to be going in with this orange here and this shade is Orange Sky so I'm going to load up my brush and I've just tapped the excess off and I'm going to concentrate it into my outer corner and into the crease and just ever so slightly above just going to keep building up that colour <laughs> just copy it all Now on that same brush I'm going to take the yellow that's next to the orange we've just used and this one is called Sun Days. I'm going to put a little on my brush and I'm going to work more towards the top just so the bristles are slightly over what I've just done, slightly above what I've just done uh, but the main of the colour is going into that orange. I work it in using circular motions with swiping motions as well. I'm just going to keep building that up. Then I'm just going to wipe the excess off of the brush and we're now going to go in with our lightish yellow here and this one's our light and I'm just going to do the same again just in the top section with that colour and slightly over.
and then I'm going to get a totally clean large fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend out all that top half As you can see now it's blended out you've just got that nice gradient and it's a lot more subtle so we're going to go back to the first brush again wipe off that excess now i'm going to go in with this coverly color it's coming up quite pale on the camera but it is quite an intense color so we're going to be really careful with this one and this one's called solar flare so again, just tap off the excess and this one I am concentrating just on the outer corner and very much in my crease. I just want that orange at the bottom just to be a bit stronger, a bit more of a true orange. I'm just going to keep blending that in just so it all ties in. Then we keep that gradient. And then if you'd like, you can just grab your big brush again and just go slightly over the top of that. Next I'm going to take a fairly small brush and I'm going to go in with this brown and this one is landscape. I'm just taking a tiny bit, tapped off the excess and this I'm concentrating in the outer corner and mainly in the outside of the crease but I am going to, once the majority of the product is off, I'm going to run it through my whole crease. I'm just wanting to add a bit of depth and just contour the eye a little bit. And again we can just take that big brush again just to make sure we've not got any harsh edges. And as you see even though it is oranges and yellow it's fairly subtle and especially once you get your eyeliner mascara if you are wearing lashes your lashes on that'll be toned down even more so i'm just gonna take some uh, white concealer on the back of my hand and on a flat brush and i'm just going to cut that crease out just ever so slightly um just so we've got a shape and a blank canvas to work with So 
and we're using the same technique I normally do where I just put it on the lid as far down as we want it and then we just blink and then it puts a line so I look up sorry not blink <laughs> and then I just follow that line that's just been created Once that's on, I just tap out the outside so it's a bit more blended in rather than a harsh line and we then just copy it. So now I'm happy with that, I'm going to take this gold in the middle, the shimmer, and this one is golden hour. And to start I'm going to take a flat brush, I'm going to take that and pop it on the crease we've just created. Just giving us a base colour. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just taking the, the same shade on my finger and I'm just going to go over it and when it's on the finger as well on those edges I'm going to slightly tap it over as the colour comes off my finger so that we've got more of a gradient rather than a harsh line as well. And again you can blend it even more by just going over the top of the edge with that big blending brush. For my inner corner highlight and my under brow highlight I'm going to go in with this shade here which is Moonlight. This is a white shade but it has a reflex of a very pale gold. It's very pretty. So for this I'm just taking a smaller pencil brush and then I'm just tapping off the excess to go under the eyebrow because it is a little more intense than I normally use for my underbrow. And then again, you can just lightly brush over it with your blending brush and that will just make sure you've not just got a stripe. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face off of camera and give you a bit of a close up. Um, under my eyes, all I'm going to be doing is using those first darker shades um, with the darker colours to the outside going into the paler colours. Um, and then I'll be back soon to show you the finished look. So that's my completed look for today and I hope you like it. Um, as I say I've 
done a few videos today I've done a couple of tutorials uh, the eyeliner the lip and I'm also going to be doing an unboxing so keep an eye out for those I will pop down in the description all the products and shades etc that I've used for this look and let me know down below what you think and as always thank you for joining me